Hi, my name is Dan and I'm one of the DT evangelists here at Digital Tutors. In this video, we're going to look at a question from one of our users, N. Brooks, on an issue dealing with paint effects and transparency maps. So, to give an example of this issue, I have a simple scene set up with a uh, paint effects forest. And we also have a sphere that has some transparency set in front of our trees. Okay, so let's hop into our render camera here and see what this will look like when I render it out. As we can see, our trees are messing up. They're not they're rendering in front of our sphere here. It's really not the result that we would expect. Now, the reason this is happening is because of the way that PaintFX uses the scanline renderer's depth buffer, it gives us some unexpected results when dealing with transparent objects if we don't have it set to uh, handle the depth. So what we want to do is to come in, select our paint effects objects, come in, uh, in this case it would be under the pine forest since that's the type of paint effects that I used, and make sure that our depth is turned on. Okay, so I'll set this to on, go ahead and save this render out, and as we s can see now it's properly handling the depth in our scene. Now there's a couple other little things we could do if we uh, didn't want to adjust that option for some reason or if for some reason that option isn't fixing it for us. Um, one of those would be to convert our paint effects actually into a polygon object. Okay, So to do that we'd select our paint effects, come to modify, convert, and convert our paint effects to polygons. And then when those are converted to a polygon mesh they'll be treated like any other polygon mesh in your scene and will render out properly with the depth as well as any transparency maps you may have in your scene. However, if we're not careful when we're converting our paint effects, we really could start to at introduce quite a bit of geometry in our scene depending on how many paint effects we have. So if we don't want to do that, another option we could do would be to come into our render layers and add our paint effects to a new render layer separate from the rest of the objects in our scene. So we'd have our uh, paint effects uh, render layer and our geometry render layer. Then we can render those out separately and then composite those back together. Now, if you're not familiar with how render layers work, I'd recommend checking out the overview of render layers lesson found in the Introduction to Mental Ray in Maya 2009 course. So those are just a couple different techniques that can be utilized to fix an issue with paint effects not handling transparency maps properly.